There. Now it's supposed to be going. Okay. So this should slide over and allow us to measure angle B. What's angle B, everybody? So we ended up knowing that that is 60, right? Yeah, and that means the other side of it is 60. This has to be 60 also? Yeah. What are the kind of angles are these called? Um, vertical angles or opposite angles. Did you guys learn ver vertical or opposite in Ms. Carrico's room? Oh, yeah, we did that. Okay. Now, what does adjacent mean? Adjacent. So what is this angle right here? Aaron, what is this one? Uh, this angle right here. Yeah. Well, it is DBC. What angle is that? We could do this. We could add up 60, 60, 120. Uh-huh. Minus 260. Right. 260 minus 120. It's 240, right? And then that by 2. All right. That was a really interesting way to come up with this. So those are 120. I know, but I'm putting it on the video for the study guide. So this way is adjacent. 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 Verticals across the street. Okay? Across the vertex. Okay, let's go back to this. Oh, don't I need to get this back so I can erase it? There we go. I go back to that. All right. So those call, what kind of angles are these, Austin, right here? Little ones are acute. Right. Let's go to... Little ones are cute. Get it? Little ones? Kyle, can we shut the door? Because it's crazy loud over there. Yes, you will get to use protractors. Yes, adjacent or next door to each other. And vertical angles are across from each other. I know, but it was funny. All right, how does a circle help you understand angles? Oh, okay. How, do, how does... A Pac-Man help you understand reflex angles. We measured this today. What was this angle today? Did anybody remember what this was right here? We could go ahead and measure it right now. It was 60, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's top of the triangle. See? This was like 60, which is the same angle as inside Pac-Man's mouth. So the reflex angle is the what's left of the angle. So what's left of the circle when the Pac-Man opens its mouth? Yeah, do you know? 300. 300. The reflex angle is 300 degrees. I don't get how you get the regular Open your mouth. That's, that's an angle of probably like 70 or 80 degrees. The rest of your head, minus 360, I get it? It's the rest of your head. What? Well, you're, yeah, I don't think you can open your mouth to an obtuse angle. What's the degrees if you turn all the way around in a circle on a skateboard? What they, what's it called? 360. Okay, what about this one? What's this one? Uh, Aiden, what is this right here? It's an equilateral triangle, so it means all three of these are 60, right? Yeah. Right. So that means this is what? It's adjacent, and they have to add up together to give you 180, like Mrs. Kelly said yesterday, right? Yeah, that was pretty cool. That, I was very impressed with that. All right, this is a cool trick. Okay, 
So the measure of this. So every triangle adds up to 180, the interior angles. This is 360, right? Oops. Why am I not getting this? Drawing pencil. That sounds fine. I'm going to make that go away. <laughs> oh, Mr. K, how about you, um, drawing pencil? I know. A what a bit. pain. <sighs> okay, 360. What's the five is? You know, we are making a note. Video. Go get me a slip. 540. Well, a five-sided shape is a pentagon. This one is a hexagon. Okay, that's six. That, okay, do we get the pattern here? What comes after 720? 900. 900. Do we get this one? Yeah. The next slide does a really good job of explaining that, too. We never did I know, but don't we know the pattern now? Yeah, I go to All right. Uh, that was easy. Which of these two never intersect? Isn't that clear? Hollywood and Starlight. Hollywood, Holloway and Starlight. Yeah, that was an easy one. Okay, I know that one was easy. Here's one we haven't talked enough about. This is the exact same shape of the tile at uh, 54th Street Bar and Grill. This is a hexagon, and it tessellates. And a tessellation is any kind of tile that fits together with no gaps. Lots of tiles are hexagons. It fits together with no gaps. Okay? And if it fits together with no gaps, it's called regular. It's a regular hexagon. Okay, then. What would be this is a hexagon. Is this figure regular, regular, irregular, regular? It is regular. It fits together with no gaps. Do you get it? How many pair, pairs of parallel lines does a hexagon have? Oh, one, two, three, four, six. But if it has how many pairs? If there's six, there would be three pairs. Regular means they fit together with no gaps. Hexagon. Do you get it? What's the sum of the angles of the hexagon? You, we could do it right now. Here, I'll do it. You could. Okay. It is regular because it fits together with no gaps. How many pairs of parallel lights it does? It had three. Okay, we don't need to do that. All right, got it? We don't have to do the rest? No, we're done. Okay, did we already know this? Remember, I, I changed that. There's 90, there's 50. What does this have to be right here? 40. So what does this have to be? What, right here? And then did, Because what kind of angles are these? Vertical. Now we get it? And if you added all three of these, all four of these, what would you get? 360. Oh, this was fun. I didn't even have to make this. A kid made this from last year. Yeah. Hey, uh, people from Kara's Coast, have you seen this one? No. This is 180 degrees. A quadrilateral is just two triangles put together. What is it? And that kid from last year made that really cool animation show up.
this was particularly cool when he did that. Okay, the, the mistake kids make when they do this is they cross lines in the middle. Don't cross lines in the middle when you're drawing this. No. All right. Uh, oh, what would this sum be? Hey, where's Austin? Because he knew this. What is the answer for this? Austin, I'm trying to ask you a question. Okay, it's a 52-sided polygon. What do you have to do to it to find the interior angles? Austin, you have minus two. So you take 52 minus two equals 50, and you do that times 180. And why does that work? I think it comes out to be 9,000, doesn't it? Okay. It works like this. If you have a triangle, you have three sides, minus one, I'm sorry, minus two, equals one but times 180. By two? Because a three-sided figure, a triangle, minus two, you get one side left, right? Times 180 equals 180, because all triangles do 180. Now, if you have a four-sided figure and you subtract two, equals two times 180 equals 360. You could write this down, but I'm going to post it online tonight, too. Okay. All right. On this one, there. this is an octagon, so how many triangles are in it? Eight minus two is six. Six times 180. This is a good one. Okay, so the F is supposed... Oh, what's angle F supposed to be? F right here? Oh. E is 90. That looks like a 90 degree angle. What's D? It's the same as F, right? Oh, I, this one right here? Okay, Aiden, let's hear it. What is J? It's underneath here. All, one, two, three, four, all six of these are the same, and they make a straight line. The, all six of them are a straight, make a straight line. 180 divided by is 30. So that's 30. So what do these have to be? Because they're, they're the same. So if this one's 30, 30, and these two are the same, so we have 180 minus 30. We have 150. So two, what two angles make 150? Half of that will be here, and half of it will be there. 75 and 75. That means each one of these is 75. Well, 75 and 75 is 150, plus 30 is 180, one triangle. And that is all we have time for.